concatenated embeds are awesome for when you need to display a large number of data at once in a single message, and that's what you're going to learn to do today. This right here is a package that I have worked on to make your development process that much easier. Embed Paginator. If you wish to take a closer inspection of the code to learn how it works behind the scenes, feel free to check out the GitHub page. To install this package, all you have to do is follow the instructions given on the page that is to run npm install embed paginator, or if you're using yarn, then yarn add embed paginator. I personally use yarn, so I'm going to use just that. I'm going to be coding in TypeScript, bot generated using MuCLI, another project that I've worked on to help you code to script bots. If you're interested, the link is in the description. But if you're using vanilla JavaScript with a traditional function exports, that will work just as fine. First, we import the paginated embed class from the embed paginator package. You may need to require the package instead if you're doing this in pure Node.js. Now we create an instance of paginated embed and assign it to a variable which we're going to simply call embed. In the constructor, you are going to need to pass in a JSON object containing an array of colors, descriptions, fields, and a single values of duration, items per page, pagination type, and footer image URL. Descriptions and fields arrays are optional, but only one at a time. That is to say, you must provide at least a description array or a fields array. The descriptions array has to be an array of strings. While this may sound limiting, it actually doesn't if you know what you're doing. I'm going to show you a more practical example after this. The fields array follows the same interface as you normally would in the add fields method with the message embed. This is an array of JSON object containing key values for name, value, and inline, which is defaulted to false. The colors array is important for you to pass in as this will suggest the colors of the paginated embed for each page. You can either manually put in different colors for every single page you think your embed is going to have, or you can simply put in an array with a single element of random, which will put a random color on every page of your embed. If you wish for the color to be the same on every page, simply put in a hexadecimal co color code of the color of your choice instead of random or any color resolvable listed on the discord.js documentation. Items page determines how many items you want the embed to show in a single page as the name suggests. The items could be either the descriptions array, fields array, or both determined by pagination type. Duration determine how long the user is able to paginate the embed for in milliseconds. After the specified duration, pagination will stop working and all reactions on the message will be removed. Finally, footer image URL is, as the name suggests, an image URL that will show up in the footer. This is an optional argument. The reason this is here is because you cannot edit the footer of this embed as the footer is used to display what page the user is on and how many pages there are in total. Some of the methods available in message embed can also be used in paginated embed and can also be chained just like you normally would. After you are done setting up your paginated embed, use the send method to send the embed. This method requires two arguments. The first one being the channel that the embed should be sent to, and the second one is an optional argument which is the message you want the embed to be sent along with. Now start your bot and run the command which has the paginated embed and watch as it does its thing and allows you to easily paginate your embed. Now let's put this into a more practical situation such as a music queue. These three lines of code here is just to make sure the command does not run if there aren't any music playing and whether or not the user is in the same voice channel as the bot or not. I'm getting the queue for my specific guild because I've extended the guild structure to contain a queue. You can read more on how to do this on the discord.js documentation. Your queue object might be different to mine, so just put the information you need into the correct argument accordingly. Let's import a paginated embed class and create an instance of it. Remember, the description's array has to be an array of string, so what we can do is map our queue with the titles of the upcoming music. If you want this to also show the position of the music, you can get index of the element and add one to it by getting the index argument from the map function. We also want to know what song is currently playing, so let's add a field that will show up in every page with information about the currently playing song. I also want to know whether or not the queue is looping, so let's also add a field for that.
Let's also add a thumbnail to match the current music's thumbnail. Now I'll send the embed to the channel where I ran the command. We can now test whether or not this is working. I'll add a playlist of music to make this easier for me. Now that the whole playlist has been loaded into the queue, let's run our queue command and see if it works. Voila! Our paginated embed showing all the music has been added to the queue. And that's how you can easily create a paginated embed for your Discord bots. If you have any ideas or suggestions of what to add or rework on Embed Paginator, comment down below or open an issue on GitHub with the enhancement label. Use the bug label if you have found any bugs. If you know how to code and wish to contribute to the project, feel free to fork the repo, cut your changes, and open a pull request for me to review. If I like the changes made, I will merge it and publish it as a new version on NPM. If you enjoyed and learned something, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next time.